Good evening, ladies and jelly spoons. Gosh, I haven't said that for a long time. Um, that was a saying we all kind of said in that might not have worked. I'll start again. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to tonight's broadcast of Samantha Leaf live on Facebook. Um, I had you plugged into my monitor, so I don't think it was going to work. I wonder if anyone can hear me. Yeah, I hope so. Um, I, tonight's broadcast, tonight's live, is was, was triggered by something I saw today. A fabulous, fabulous woman, if you haven't seen her, Nicole Arbour, who's a com com Canadian comedian, um, did a video today calling out Jay Shetty on a whole lot of copying stuff. So various videos that he's done, various memes that he's put out that are clearly other people's content and he's used them. Now, whilst, and I promise I really would like someone to slap me. No, God, don't say that in this day and age. Um, if you ever think I've copied anything of anybody's and not give them credit where credit's due, call me on it because that stuff is wrong, people, wrong. So this is, if you want to have a look, um, as I said, her name is Nicole Arbor. It's on her Facebook page. It's probably been shared a lot of times by now because millions of people follow Jay Shetty. And she's literally dissecting a meme that he's put up and who actually originally quoted that. Now, that's not cool to call stuff you're writing your own without actually saying, oh, so-and-so did it. Um, every time I quote something, pop a meme up or a quote up, because I love quotes. I have them all around my house. I have them on my phone. I have them everywhere. I love them. I always credit the person. Always, always, always. Um, as you've heard me speak about things like the passion test or the work or any course I've gone to, the LinkedIn thing the other day, I always credit where I've heard the information from. Now, there are only so many ideas in the world. Like, so chances are at some point people are going to, you know, look at a website and go, I really like that idea. So they take ideas from it, you know. Um, take an inspiration, inspiration taken from, that's okay, but you've got to kind of credit the person or make something your own. My website, for example, probably had, when I had it built a few years ago, and it needs an upgrade, update rather, um, I probably had about 15 to 20 sites that I went to my developer with and went, I like this that someone has, I like this that somebody else has, I like this that someone else has, but I like the, these are my colours, let's take all those things I like from out there in the internet world and make it my own. That's kind of okay to do. Directly copying someone's website, which has happened to many friends of mine, is not okay. And it's funny, it reminded me, when I was in high school, I did my year three, year three my year three unit music major kind of piece. I did a performance piece and I did a had to do like a written piece. And I did this study because... You know, there's only so many new notes. Like if you look at a piano, if you, um, I mean, these days with synthesizers, they can get way outside what the normal breadth of what we think is music. Um, and they can twist and change and, oh, music's incredible these days. But back when, back when I was doing it, um, back in 1991, oh, so long ago, uh, there weren't so many options. There weren't the amazing synthesizers. There weren't all the computer-generated sounds, all those kind of things. And I did a study about how musicians actually copy themselves, and it's that was quite kind of quite a fascinating. And the two kind of the two people I looked at were Andrew Lloyd Webber, you know, Cat, Starlight Express, a gazillion musicals, Phantom of the Opera, um, and Claude Michel Schomburg, who wrote to a couple that you may have, may have heard of, Les Misérables and Miss Saigon. And to give you this example, so here's a song from Miss Saigon. Bum, 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 bum. We're called, we joy, the dogs of life. Okay. Then let's go to Les Mis. Bum, 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 bum. Do you hear the people sing? Sound familiar? You know, so people copy themselves. People do that kind of shit all the time. 
but it is would not have been cool for Andrew Lloyd Webber to then go bum 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 bum. So it's not cool that Jay Shetty's doing this and has millions and millions of people following him. Now, of course, arguments have come out today. Well, he's doing good and he's helping people. So do we really care? Hell, yes, we care. Don't copy shit, people. Don't do it. Other stuff has come out because, you know, saying he wasn't really a mark and or he's lied about this, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into any of that. That's his karma. If he's done the wrong thing, karma is going to bite him in the bum. And I happen to think karma is a really nasty I'm not going to swear on this live. So, you know, karma will get you. But I wanted to talk about it because we all share things on the interweb. We all do it. We, You know, we see something on Instagram. We see something on Facebook. We see something on LinkedIn. We see something on YouTube. We do it. If you're going to share something of somebody's or you're going to go, oh, my God, I've got to, that has inspired me to do something, as many things inspire me every single day, Credit the M mother that wrote it in the first place or did it in the first place. Other, apart from anything else, you will get caught. It's universally really, really dodgy shit to be doing, which it will impact your credibility, your earnings, your friendships, your, your self-esteem, for God's sake. You know, I'm all about helping people with their confidence in business and in life. And can I tell you one way to quickly get rid of your confidence is by copying other people's stuff because then you think you're so hopeless you can't write your own stuff. It's not a good road to go down. Oh, I sound like I'm getting ranty. <sighs> Hashtag Sam's rants. Um, so, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to get into the politics or the drama of other stuff that people are saying he has or hasn't done. But if you get a chance, look at her video. She's an incredibly funny woman. Um, her name's Nicole Arbor. She's a massive following. She does great keynotes, um, has a successful business from Monica. I don't know her, okay, don't know her. She's Canadian. But it really made me look at some of the stuff he's done. I'm like, yeah, actually, and do it. Google a couple of the quotes that he's put out and go, oh, actually, that was written by so-and-so in 1940, whatever. So mm, you get caught with your pants down, people. So that's all I wanted to talk about tonight. If you take inspiration, and this live was inspired by the woman herself, Nicole Arba. you know. I'm going to say it. It was inspired by her rant and video on Jay Shetty. I've had to do my own little one because I don't think it's cool. So all these books that you've seen me read, all the courses I take, all the study I do, all the podcasts I listen to, I will absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, share some of that good stuff with you. I may write about it in a blog post. I may do a live about it. I may, you know, turn some of it into a program with other stuff, you know, but it will always, credit is, should always be where credit is due. So just promise me that, okay? So if you're sharing something you in, inspirational tonight that you've seen a funny video, unless it's a funny cat video, oh, no, credit the cats as well. Credit who it came from, okay? Mwah. Much love to all of you. Do we like my new nail colour? I don't really like it. It's a bit too grey. I'm not a very grey person. Mm, only have the last three weeks. So. I will see you all tomorrow.